Hi, this is Paul with Equipped. One of the big questions that we get when people talk to us about fridges is how big a fridge should I buy? It's a very, very good question and it really depends on your situation and who and what you are going to take with you. Fridges range the, a variety of sizes. We have everything from 40 liters up to 125 liters in size of fridge and all of them serve a great purpose for their customer in certain circumstances. One thing to think about when you're looking at a fridge is the fact that now you don't have to carry ice and ice takes volume. And so any, uh, any relationship between the cooler that you've been using in the past and a refrigerator is going to have uh, a variable involved there. The cooler that you're used to is going to be bigger than the fridge that's going to be necessary for you because you are removing that necess necessity of ice. Um, and so you can run with the smaller unit. Typically, here's my breakdown on what I see. Um, for one or two people, I think anywhere in the range from 40 up to 52 liters in fridge size is a great option for you. Uh, my personal favorite is the one here that's called the uh, Legacy Duals, Dual Control. It's a 50 liter fridge. It has a 40 liter uh, fridge area, 10 liter freezer area. They're independently controlled and you can use uh, the whole thing, all 50 liters for fridge if you choose to. But if you need a little bit of a freezer area, this is a, a great opportunity. This is the fridge that I have taken on multi-month trips. Uh, Central America, Alaska, trips like that works fantastic for a couple people. What I like about it is that it gives you ample space to carry what's, what's needed, but it doesn't take up as much room in the back of your vehicle where space is a premium. If you go with too big of a fridge for uh, your, your area, your fridge takes up all the volume of your space in your vehicle and, and then you have other complications with other gear that you want to take with. So for two people, an awesome opportunity right here. If you're looking at um, a small family, uh, three, four people, something in that range, I would definitely say look at the single zone uh, 55 or the uh, dual zone 60 liter and more preferably the 60 liter one. You get a lot of space in, in that 60 liter. It's dual zone, you can freeze if you want to or use all this refrigerator. And that gives you an extra 20% of space over this unit here, and will give you the opportunity to carry what you need for a family of four, and that's gonna be great. The next range of sizes up from that is the range from 72 liters up to 90 liters. All of those fridges are the same external dimensions. Each one has a specific purpose. The 72 liter has uh, two doors on the top of it uh, for each zone. The 80 liter is a single zone fridge. It is one big open cavity. And the 90 liter is a single door on top, but a dual zone under that single door. And one zone has a uh, polycarbonate clear lid over the, what they consider the freezer section on that. Um, they all run incredibly well. They would serve a group of six plus people uh, on your adventures just fine. There's plenty of room in there to make that happen. The next level up from that is the 110 dual zone and the 125 liter uh, single zone fridges. Those fridges are monsters. And those fridges, in my estimation, are for big van applications or off-grid cabin applications in some circumstances. They would work really, really well. I've also seen that the uh, the 72 to 90 liter range works really well in sprinter van applications where folks are putting them on a lateral slide underneath the cabinet um, so that they can slide it out, open it up, get what they need, close it and slide it back underneath the cabinet inside a van. That works out really well too. It really comes down to what your application is, whether you are an ice cream vendor running around selling ice cream to kids or you're a caterer that needs a lot of space to make sure that your your um, your product is, is stays cool or farmers market or whatever your application is it really depends on what your plan is and what your uses are if you're going to be freezing things 
like keeping things really, really cold, one thing to consider is the insulation wall. All of the fridges National Luna offers are, are really efficient machines. In the circumstance of going something where you're deep freezing uh, to very low temperatures, I would suggest going with a fridge that has the 60 millimeters of insulation in the wall. It's going to help that fridge not run as often. Uh, those models would be the 40 liter, 55 liter, and the 80 liter and the 125 liter. Those are all single zones with that, with that insulation wall. The dual zones in that same application would be the 72 liter uh, would be the way to go. And the 60 liter is split, uh, some area 40, some area 60, the 90 liter is the same way. Um, so deep zones, uh, deep cool, cooling zones, I would say uh, a little bit extra insulation. If it's just going to be run as a fridge, um, my experience is that I really haven't seen a lot of energy consumption variance between the 60 millimeter and the 40 millimeter. But that's, that's in a normal refrigeration zone from zero and up in temperatures. Uh, so again, if you're going a, a couple in a truck, 40 to 52 liters in here would be great. Small family, three or four, take a look at the 55 or 60 liter, maybe a little bit bigger. For groups in the six people range, 72 to 90 would work. And then of course you can go up to the large ones with the 110 and 125. Those are my experiences. Uh, I've had a chance to use all of them. And that's where I think the sweet points are for using that fridge.